Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create your own ancient engraved medieval coat of arms. I provided a Photoshop file that you can download to follow along. Its link is located in the video description or project files. It includes this background of scratched metal and a silhouette of crisscrossed spears. Temporarily hide the spears and click the thumbnail of the background to make the layer active. Make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J and drag the copy to the top of the layers panel. Hide the copy and make the spears layer active. Open your horizontal type tool. Click the center text icon and go to Window and Character. The character panel will open. Choose an ancient looking font. I'm using Abaddon II Regular. If you'd like to use it, I provided its link as well. Click the color box and in the Brightness field, type in 50% to pick up a neutral gray color. Then click OK. Click on your document and type your text. If you have more than one line of text and want to make one line larger than the other, Highlight the line you want to enlarge and either drag the size icon to the right or type in a larger point size. I'll type in 198. To adjust the space between lines, drag the letting icon to the left or right. To adjust the space between characters, also known as kerning, click between those characters and press and hold Alt or Option as you press the left or right arrow key on your keyboard. When you're done kerning your characters, let's center the text on your document. Click your Move tool and press Ctrl or Command A to select the text. Click the Align Horizontal Centers icon and the Align Vertical Centers icon. To deselect it, press Ctrl or Command D. We can close the character panel now. Click the FX icon and click Bevel Emboss. The style is Inner Bevel and the technique is Chisel Hard. The depth is 100%, the direction is up, and the size is 10 pixels. Uncheck Global Light. Make the angle 70 degrees and the altitude 15 degrees. Make the highlight mode Color Dodge and its opacity 60%. Click Contour and open the Contour Presets. Click the double ring thumbnail. Click Stroke. Make the size 4 pixels and the position is outside. Change the blend mode to linear burn and make the opacity 50%. Click color overlay. Make the blend mode color and click the color box. In the hexadecimal field, type in C7BB83. Then click OK. Click Outer Glow. Make the Blend Mode Linear Burn and keep the opacity at 75%. Click the color box and pick Black. Then click OK. Make the size 35 pixels. Click Drop Shadow. Change the Blend Mode to Overlay and the opacity to 40%. Make the distance 40 pixels, the spread 40%, and the size 50 pixels. Then click OK. I think I'd like to adjust the kerning again between some characters, so I'll press T to open my type tool, click between those characters, and kern them. To save space in the layers panel, 
Let's hide the list of effects in the text layer by clicking the arrowhead next to the FX icon. We didn't delete the effects, we just hid the list from view. To make a new layer below the active layer, control click or command click on the new layer icon. Control click or command click on the large T on your text layer to make a selection of the text's shape. Go to Select, Modify, and Expand. Expand it 10 pixels and click OK or press Enter or Return. We'll fill the selection with black. To do this, press D on your keyboard to revert the foreground and background colors to black and white respectively and then press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the selection with a foreground color. Press Ctrl or Command D to deselect it. Change the Blend Mode to Color Burn and reduce the fill to 25%. If we were to reduce the opacity instead, it would look like this. As I toggle back and forth, you can see the difference. Make a new layer below this layer by control clicking or command clicking on the new layer icon. Let's name it Shield. Open your elliptical marquee tool, go to the center of your document, and press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag out a circle approximately this size. Fill it with a foreground color, which is black. Then deselect it. To center the circle on your document, repeat the steps that you used earlier to center your text. Click your Move tool, press Ctrl or Command A, and then click the Align Horizontal Centers icon and the Align Vertical Centers icon. Then deselect it. Reduce its fill to zero. Go to the FX icon and press and hold Alt or Option as you drag a copy of the effects to your shield layer. Hide the effects list and make the spheres layer visible and active. Reduce the fill to 25% and drag a copy of the effects to the spheres layer. To hide the spears behind the shield, control click or command click on the thumbnail of the shield to make a selection of its shape. Click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the spears. Invert the layer mask by pressing control or command I. Make the background copy visible and active. Change the Blend Mode to Overlay. We want to restrict the background texture to be visible just inside the text. To do this, make a selection of the text and click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the background copy. Let's flip the texture inside the text so there's a variance between it and the background texture. Click off the lock icon between the background and its layer mask. This will allow us to move and resize either one independently of the other. Make the background active and go to Edit, Transform, and Flip Horizontal. Lastly, we'll brighten the spears. Make the spears layer active and reduce the fill to zero. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.